Okay, so now let's take a quick look at the difference between compact bone and spongy bone. Uh, these are two types of bone here that exist. Uh, within all types of bones. This is, uh, you know, of course, dispersed in a variety of different places all over the body. Now, the first difference, I'm going to give you three. The first difference is compact bone consists of 80% of the thickness of a bone. So if you pick up a bone, you pick up a femur, for example, 80% of it will be compact bone. 20% spongy bone. The second difference is, is that the compact bone is connected to the periosteum. And this is the outer layer of the bone. So compact. So if you take a bone and you start sticking a needle in it first, you're going to first hit the periosteum, and then going through the periosteum, you will hit compact bone first as you stick the needle in. And spongy bone is connected to the medullary cavity. And this is where the bone marrow is, by the way. The third difference here is that compact bone has a cylinder pattern of bone called osteons. This is in compact bone, not in spongy bone. Spongy bone has the same little pieces of lamellae, by the way, same little pieces of bone, but it's in a different configuration. Uh, it's called trabeculae. Trabeculae. So this is the main difference. Now, both of these, by the way, this osteon, this is the cylinder-shaped one. And this, these are the finger-looking ones. These are kind of all over the place, not, not so nice and neat like the cylinder ones. These are finger-like, and this is all the way on the inside of the bone. So that's the main difference between the spongy bone and the compact bone. Big picture difference here.